Hello and welcome to Red Cardinal Kitchen. I'm Sonia and today I'm going to be making for you a carrot and sweet potato pie. So we'll be right back and I'll show you how it's made. Hello and welcome back. So I'm going to start with a pie crust that I have nearly put together. It was in a disc form and it's a pat of crust. So I'm going to go ahead and push together with my fingers. And you just keep pushing. If you have to, you can use a cup to help. Something. <laughs> and so then you'll push it up to the top and see how high we can get it to come up there. So it so I'm going to finish working on this and I'll be back to show you how it looks. Alright, and so I have my pie dough formed into the pan. And what I ended up doing, is once I got it together, is I took a, just a plastic wrap here and you can just kind of push it and get your edges, keep lifting it, forming it, and then I took my thumbs and pushed it up as tall as it'll go without, you don't want to too thin, it won't hold the filling, or it'll break on you when you go to cut it. So, and that's pretty much what I did there. And then I have my little handy, I, I bought a real, real cheap little chopper, and this came with it. The chopper lasted two days, but I've had this forever, <laughs> and I use it for everything. It's the best tool ever. So then I just come back, and I just push it, I pushed it to kind of shape it pretty. And then, like so. And then I just took my fingers, thumbs, and just kind of, <laughs> and don't hit the wall. <laughs> All right, so that's what I did. So now, this is going to go into a 400 degrees oven, and I'm going to bake it. There's one thing I need to do. I don't do the bean thing or the weights or I'm just an old fashioned I took off where my mom and my grandma took off <laughs> left and so I love their cooking my aunt my sisters so I just do what I know and I just make a whole bunch of things <laughs> Alrighty, so now we've got, I put the fork marks in it to keep the bubbles from coming up. And so now I'm going to put it into my oven. It's on the lower rack. And I'm going to put it to the left side, or you can put it to the right, but I don't put it in the middle because it won't come out uniform. And I'm going to bake it for 15 minutes and we'll be right back. All right, I'm back, and my pie crust has been baked. It's right over here. It looks like this. I'm going to let it cool. Set it out the way. So, now we're going to make the filling. And I'm going to use a blender that I've had since I was 17. 
and I am 71 years old. So I got it at the state fair, and the man that was demonstrating said that it would last a lifetime. Well, I hope to live over 100 years old. So far it's been running, never had a problem. It does everything that anything else does. <laughs> So, right now the setting is on liquify. So, with this, because you do use liquids first, I will be putting in some evaporated milk. And I will be putting in a couple of eggs with the yolk. And I'll get my butter in here, my little spoon, my little happy spoon. This is melted butter. And my little containers are from my applesauce that I have for my breakfast. I save them. They work. These are my props, folks. <laughs> and I'm proud of it. All right. And then I have some cornstarch. One quarter cup of cornstarch and a quarter cup of water. And I hope, oh, oh, oh. settled a little bit. Let's see if I can get it. Get out and make any mess. Okay. Nice going, Grandma. <laughs> Oops. All right. And then this nearly one half cup liquid left is the liqueur from the sweet potato and the carrots. So I will use that as part of my liquid. And so I cut down the milk. This is going to give it a real good flavor. And then I have my spices. They'll all be in the description area in the recipe. And then I have I put in one tablespoon of vanilla, pure extract. All right, now I can add my carrots. So it's one cup of yams. Oh, yams are not in America, sorry. Yams are in the United But anyway, we have sweet potatoes out here, so I've been trying to get the stores to change their labels. <laughs> okay. So. Got that all in there. And then we need some sugar. And I have, I make it myself. It's part Splenda, part granulated white sugar and at least two tablespoons of molasses. So it's a little stickier because of the Splenda, but it's okay, it still works. So I'll just kind of lift it up and down in there. With my fingers. I like to use my fingers. It feels good. It's nice. Great therapy. All right, let me rinse my hands now because they are sweet <laughs> and sticky. I don't want to attach myself to the spoon. <laughs> All right, let's put a lid. My blender lid. Okay, it's on liquefied and we'll count about 10 seconds. go finer you can but I like a little bit of texture to it so I'm not going to um, go 
any further than this. All right? So let's get this out the way, put that on my towel, bring this back. going to be baking in the oven. I had dropped my temperature from 425 down to 350 and I'm going to be baking my pie for another 40 minutes. And I forgot to say that if you do bake your crust first and then you have a liquid you know, pudding or something that still needs to be baked, it's not going to make your crust wet. Alright, so, and it's not going to get much darker than this. So, for 40 minutes, and I'm going to put it in, okay, it's not that hot now. All that. And then I have to move my, okay, so it's just a bottom rack. And I've got one too, it's on the third little place. There it goes. And again, I'm going to put it to the left so I get an even bake. Okay. We're always taught to put it in the center, but it's either left or right. All right, close it up. 40 minutes, we'll be back. Hello, welcome back. Well, my pie has cooled. I have cut a slice and I have topped it with some Cool Whip. And then I sprinkled some cinnamon on top. It is going to be served with a cup of hot coffee. All right, and behind me, I wish you could join me. I have plenty. I am going to cool those and then I am going to individually cool them on a rack in the freezer and then I will store them in the freezer in their old bags in a freezer lock bag so that I can have them throughout the weeks. Alright, so it's time for the taste test. What I've been waiting for. So we'll put this, I have this in reverse so you can see the setting. But we're going to move things. And I'll turn it around. Now the crust here is not burned, but it did deepen up on me. The color did. So it's very nice. It's crispy. And very crispy. You can see how it falls. So it's not hard at all. Okay, so there's that. And then it's very creamy in texture inside. And you can see that how it is. So I'll go ahead, put a little bit of cream on that. Mm. Mm. You wouldn't believe it's carrot. It almost tastes like a pumpkin. And I have part sweet potato and part carrot in there. It 
delicious with all the holiday spices. Oh, I have to have another bite. I hope you like this recipe. I hope you will make it for your family. So this has been Christopher and Sonia, Red Cardinal Kitchen. For every step of the way, we'll see you next time. Goodbye and God bless.